Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, so on my last uh, road trip, I was unable to uh, test the uh, battery preconditioning on the Ionic 5. Uh, clearly my mistake. There's the 20% uh, or 25% rule where you have to be over 25% to uh, to actually activate the battery preconditioning. Um, so I just wanted to try it today. I'm actually gonna leave just from home and go to um, a DC fast charger, which is around 350 kilowatt, I believe. Um, which is around 20 kilometers from home and I'm currently at 28%. So I was hoping to uh, uh, leave home, go to that fast charger, which is 21 kilometers, activate the uh, route guidance and uh, get the battery preconditioning going on. Uh, the battery is heated up though, uh, which is kind of unfortunate because it's at 19 degrees from what I see. Let me just show you guys. It's a minimum 19 degrees, maximum 21. It's been in the garage, uh, but the outside temperature is 16 degrees. So I was hoping the battery would go down in temperature. Well, something you don't usually want, but this time I just wanted to uh, go down for the test. Uh, but I'll still see. I'll still activate the um, uh, the uh, route guidance here. So what I did is I put a destination which is near, uh, which is called uh, Carrefour Laval. It's a shopping center. And I used um, the near destination point of interest to find the uh, the charger itself. And this is the one I'll be going to guys. So it's the BRCC uh, Laval Convert. So BRCC means DC fast charging in the French. So Bon de Recharge à Courant Continu. So that's in French guys. Um, so that's the one we're going in. It says 1.6 kilometers because it's 1.6 kilometers from my destination, which is the shopping center near there. Uh, but total trip should be around 21 kilometers. I'm currently at 28%, um, 16 degrees outside. So roughly 3% I have left uh, for the battery preconditioning to work, uh, if it does work. So I'm gonna start it now and let's see if it actually works. So let's see, okay. And let's do calculate. So this is where I am going to the charter and then after the shopping center. Obviously, I'm gonna skip this step. My interest here is to go to the actual charger. Uh, so let's see uh, what it does. Okay, so it's gonna start the guidance in a few seconds. All right, so that is on. Let's see if the battery preconditioning is gonna turn on. Hopefully the battery is not too warm. Uh, so it doesn't turn on, but usually it wants to bring it at least up to 21 degrees if I'm uh, if I'm correct. So let's wait a few uh, a few seconds. All right, it did start, guys. As you saw the message, and I have the snowflake here. So at 28 percent snowflake, and uh, I am good to go. So let's see the battery here. It's at 19 and 21. And as you can see, I put the coolant here and the coolant is gradually going up. So it's gonna start heating up the battery um, up to 21 degrees or even more. Uh, so it can be in ideal conditions for uh, charging. And I've stayed on charge, I'm at 28.5 precisely. So let's uh, head to the uh, charging station. Let's see uh, what kind of speeds we get at 350 uh, kilowatt. All right. I made it to the charging station. Um, let me show you guys. Uh, so the preconditioning stopped when the battery reached 21 degrees. So the minimum, uh, so let me just show you on the phone here. So when it was battery minimum at 21 degrees, so that means all the cells are at minimum 21 degrees Celsius. Um, the preconditioning stopped here, although the uh, battery percentage was at 26%. Um, so the battery percentage was still good. I think it's once it reaches 21, it stops. The coolant is still a little warm. As you can see, 21 and 24, ideal conditions here. Battery at 24%. And yeah, so let's uh, try to plug this car and uh, let's see how much we get. So uh, this is the charging station, guys. There's one here and there's another one at the, uh, the front there. So it's 350 kilowatt here. Um, so how this works is, this is on the circuit electric in Quebec. Um, there you go. You just have to choose which one you want. Uh, in, in our case, it's going to be CCS. Start. 
And here you can use your smartphone to start it, or I have the uh, my card here, which is a free electric card. So I'm just gonna, just gonna tap it here. And here you go. I can just take the, the charger, CCS, and then just plug it in. There you go. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. Bear with me. There you go. Managed to plug it in. Uh, so now what it does is usually it does uh, some pretest. Uh, just to see uh, what the car is asking for. Usually, the communication between the uh, the charger and the car itself. I just heard the. Uh, I think it's the uh, transformers there. Uh, kick in, and let's see how much we get. So sometimes this happens. Uh, the charger, this charger does not sometimes, you know, uh, update itself really fast. I could see, you know, it started with 50 out of 132. I'm pretty sure it's climbing, uh, but it's not in real time sometimes. Um, so let's just wait and see how much we're uh, hitting here. Wow, okay, 195. That's not bad. I'm just gonna go inside of the car and see uh, how much we're hitting as well, uh, just to see if what we're getting here is what we're getting in the car too. Yep, so we're getting 194 here. And let's see the the reader here. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a 195, now it's 192. So yeah, it is approximately 194 here. Um so yeah, battery preconditioning. These are really great speeds, guys. And for those who follow me, you know uh, how much I suffer with the BZ4X. So this is uh, this is heaven comparing to the BZ4X. So going from a uh, 50 kilowatt or 70 kilowatt to almost 200 kilowatt, that's just uh, amazing. So technically, I'll be doing this in 17 minutes, so it says. So I came in here with 24% and uh, until 80% is supposed to charge in 17 minutes. All right, so I'll uh, keep you guys uh, posted once it's uh, done charging. So we have a quick jump here. I was just waiting here and then uh, at 40%, 41%, we have a quick jump at 230 kilowatts. Let's just see the battery temperature. We're between 25 and 29 degrees here. And we're charging at 231, 32 kilowatts. Wow, this is even more impressive than what I expected. So another change here, the speed uh, drastically dropped here. Um, we are at 62%. I don't know if you guys can see it here. Let me just show you. Yeah, so 63%, but I think it dropped at 59 or 60%. Um, we're at 126 kilowatt. Uh, um, I don't know what happened there. Um, battery's pretty high, actually. It's at 32 and 39, uh, 40 degrees here. Um, I suppose the battery cooler is supposed to work now. I don't know if this is getting uh, too uh, too hot <laughs> for the battery. I just have to do a research. Or if you guys know, let me know in the comment section if um, it's okay to go this much. Because I've never seen uh, my BZ battery going this much as well. Um, usually the battery cooler kicks in and reduces the, uh, the temperature here. Might be okay. But uh, we're still doing up. Oh, we're at the 130 now. So uh, drastically got lower than uh, the 237, which is the peak I got so far. So we're almost done. Um, the speed did pick up somehow, which I have no clue why it's picking up when it's getting closer to finishing. Um, so might be the charger itself that uh, was defective. Um, oh. It's dropping again, it's going back. Um, it's kind of weird. And um, this car started shaking a little bit, so I believe maybe the cooler started to working. Uh, but the um, we're at 36 and 44, it keeps climbing though. Uh, but I do feel a vibration in the car, so there's something working. 
I hope it's the cooler, but uh, it just keeps going up. Uh, and the speeds are just uh, all over the place. Uh, but at least we're almost done. We're at 79% and we should be done uh, in a minute or less. So we're done charging. So in 16 minutes, we got around 46.54 kilowatt hour ba battery here. Um, so from 24 to 80%, um, that's, that's actually not bad at all. I believe there might have been something wrong with the charger itself. Uh, the speeds were all over the place. Uh, we got a steady uh, at the beginning 190, then we went to uh, 237, which is the peak, and then we dropped to 125, then going back to 150. It was all over the place. I'll show you guys the graph. I'll, I'll put it somewhere here, uh, but uh, not normal, I guess. Or maybe it's just a car uh, trying to regulate itself with the uh, battery temperature. All right, so I'm just gonna unplug this, but uh, so far, just today is a successful test. So guys, this is the uh, charging uh, session here. So the Sephiroth Electric um, network is pretty good with uh, showing um, all the information about your charging. Um, as you can see, oh, hold on, my phone obviously went into sleep mode. So let me just turn that on and you'll have all the information here. Um, so let me just place this here. Yeah. So this is a charger here. They show you the pricing itself. It's $15. So any level three chargers usually have a variable um, pricing here in Quebec. Um, so the anything over 50 kilowatt, usually it's around $15. Anything under, it's cheaper. Um, and obviously it's per hour. Uh, so in that case, um, the faster your, char your car charges, the cheaper it is for you. So obviously, um, some people, some of my networks are tr changing into uh, kilowatt hours. Um, so you can actually pay what you consume and not how much time you actually spend on the uh, on these chargers. Uh, so far, so this is the graph itself. As you can see, uh, it shows a little bit of all the peaks. And yeah, as you can see, these weird <laughs> speed increases and decreases. Um, it shows you exactly at what time you charge it, your, your charge. As you can see, 11.21 p.m. And I finish at 11.28, at 38 and 16 minutes and the uh, total energy consume and everything under is the uh, total uh, payment. I want to show you all the details here, but I paid around $10 guys for this, um, which is not bad. So from uh, to get 46 uh, kilowatt, it's obviously cheaper at home, but when you're doing uh, road trips, this is, uh, it's pretty affordable compared to a, a gas car. Uh, so yeah, so this is the uh, app, guys, and this is the uh, the graph of the um, charging um, session today. Uh, so from 24 to 80% in 16 minutes. That's it, folks. Uh, I'm done the video for today. Um, I, I can only do the videos usually at night um, and sometimes during the day because I do have a baby. So whenever I have a free time, uh, she's eight months old. Uh, turning nine months old so uh, as you can see i don't have a lot of time in my hand on my hand but i still find it important to test my car and see what it's capable of in case of uh, me having to do a road trip with the family with the baby itself so at least i know what the capabilities of the cars and this is the first time i'm actually testing it properly with battery preconditioning since my last road trip alone uh, didn't work out so well uh, because of uh, I forgot to uh, to charge it properly and like plan my route properly. Um, so yeah, and let me know what you guys think. Do you like these kind of videos? If you do, I can keep doing more tests. Anything else you want me to test on the uh, Ionic Five? Let me know. And uh, like I mentioned, when I will get the time, um, I'll try to do them. Uh, until then, thank you guys. Um, I'll see you next time.